is up, guys? Finally back in Virginia. I just drove, well, it's a couple days later now, but I just drove from like the Texas-Oklahoma border, Wichita Falls, Shepherd Air Force Base, all the way to Virginia during that winter snowstorm. I left Thursday, uh, the 20 something, and got back Christmas Eve. It took me so long, because I'm a dummy, and I was trying to save money and not buy new tires. So I drove all the way on my RT660s, if you don't know what those are, they're 200 treadboard tires, and I'll show them to you here in a moment and show you how disgusting my car is from all the salt on the roads. But it took me a very long time. The first day I wanted to drive like 12 hours and I only got to drive like seven. because It got to the point where every, I don't know, couple of seconds on the highway, the car was like, kind of losing traction and shit so i had to pull off get a hotel and then that whole parking lot or anywhere off the highway was like not even like prepped at all so it was just i was driving like three mile an hour like having to break like a quarter mile before a stop sign just to stop in time i was sliding around it was a good time uh the car made it no issues besides you know loss of traction here and there but I drove through like thick fog and sleet and snow and so I mean it really scared me when I stopped to get food at McDonald's and then some like 350z parked beside me you know lowered you know wheels you know a modified 350 what you would expect and then um, on the highway about an hour later I'm coming up over a hill that turns, and as I'm coming up, I kind of see like some reflection. I'm like, okay, that might be ice. And then my back end starts to come out, my front tires catch. Like as that's happening, I see the 350Z, like where you would lose traction and end up into the guardrail, that's where he is. Like there's him, cops, like all this shit going on there. And I'm like headed, like, into their direction for like half a second until I gained traction again. That was uh, that was quite scary. So, other than that, it wasn't too bad. I, I tried to drive like 10 under the speed limit, 15, 20 under the speed limit for hours at a time. So it added. You know, my trip on maps was 22 hours and some change if you drove it straight through, and it wound up taking me I don't know like 30 something hours of driving alone not including stops or anything like that so but I made it uh, my daughter's first Christmas we made it just in time well not just in time I had like a whole day but made it made it back graduated in my class now I got a new AFSC and all these things but um, I really just wanted to show you guys how freaking disgusting the car is and uh, after this video I'm going to make a video I got four inch DVV2 downpipe that we're going to go take to get coated this week. I also got an APR, um, like the outlet pipe uh, from the turbo. So it goes from the turbo to the intercooler, which in hindsight, I should have just bought the um, the Do88 ones. I don't know why I bought the APR one. It was just on sale. I was like, click. And then afterwards, I was like, you know, I really should have got the Do88 set. But I at least want to get the, the discharge pipe. Um, and then I also got like an 034 like rear undercarriage brace thing. It's not much of a brace. It's more so you have like a clearance for the exhaust. But uh, yeah, so I got some things to unbox and some videos to make. But we'll get there. Take a look how filthy this girl is. Oh my goodness. That is awful. <laughs> Put all the salt down in there. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awful. Now mind you, I'm not here, I'm gonna use the brush and stuff, but I'm just gonna spray her down real good, get all the, the gunk off, and then sometime this week, when it warms up a little bit better, I'll uh, give her a nice hand wash or pay somebody, take it to a detailer and have them do it, because I don't really wanna do it. But yeah, that's how she looks. Pretty awful. I'll set up a time lapse, I guess. See how clean she gets from this probably shitty it's like the only self-wash place around here i've never been here before oh one more thing racing line tune is on its way so we'll have the racing line stage one tune 
and their TCU tune coming. Uh, the package is stuck in Ohio right now due to weather. So uh, maybe sometime this week that'll show up. Bunch of videos in the works. So you guys just look out for that. And there's a track day coming up. I think it's uh, the second week of February up at uh, Virginia International Raceway VIR. So I'm hoping I can get there with that. Oh, and the old lady got me brake lines too from 034. So I got those to look forward to. I need to get fluid. I need to get pads. I'm hoping 034's uh, rotor kits come out before then too so I can just get all the brakes done and I already be tuned have the downpipe on I need to order a turbo blanket but uh like most of the things should be ready besides new tires and you know, I'll run these until I can't it doesn't really snow here much so anyway let's get this ball rolling off hoping I could get a F-22 flying over but all of them just took off I think here we can see the good old tire I drove back on Whee. still got some good life 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 left in it too like there's some good goodness going on but I need to like hot tank these wheels to get all the grime out of them some good detail really a little bit of soap with salt left in the grills we'll have to wipe out cleaned up pretty good though just for some pressurized soap and water i was really hoping we could get another flyover damn oh well came to uh, go to record unboxing this DBV2 downpipe and just remembered that uh, I have this nice package from Sean that I haven't opened yet. I had it sitting to the side with all the other stuff um, a couple days after Christmas. So I want to open this on camera in this video. Actually, it turns out I didn't need the knife. I have no idea what's in here. The next video is going to be unboxing this big old downpipe. So be looking out for that. Should be out just a couple days after this. Ooh. I love these smelly packages. Oh, I think there's still one more in there. Yeah, man. Look at all that. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Golly. You guys need to get your hands on some of these. I really think the red, the red tag is my favorite. I wish I knew the flavor. But the white one's like baby powder. And it's so refreshing. Oh, look. There's even a card. Some more stickers. And some stickers to slap on some shit. I'm gonna start like throwing stickers on uh, my daughter's. What's it called? Hmm. Season of joy. Happy holidays from it's not stop. Look at that. That's awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. You gotta love it when people uh, send you nice things. It's really cool. I should. I should have sent him one of these. I should make something like this next year and send it out to some people that always help me out. It's really awesome of them. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Speaking of, I have a whole another pile besides this downpipe of stuff that I bought from Sean. It, it's not stock. So if you ever need anything, um, I mean, you can just like directly message a guy. He'll jump through hoops to help you out and find you a good deal. And it's great to have just one person you can communicate with on what you need for your goals and parts and somebody that's actually like in the industry and knows what he's talking about. So hit him up. Uh, it's not stock. Com. Boom. There you go. Look out for the next video here. Of uh, oh, I'm gonna throw in some pictures and stuff from along uh, my drive. But uh, yeah, be looking out for this next video of this downpipe. It's gonna be a fun one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.
Not a launch control?